Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers that I moved into these um, black bins here. So let's take a look and see what they're doing. They seem to be growing a forest of something. Does anybody know what it is? I have my suspicions. They're growing corn. Interesting. This is not one of the ones that was frozen. But that, that's interesting to see all the roots here. And then all the corn plants coming in off the top. So I'm going <laughs> to put that upside wrong and cover that back up. Things are getting a little bit dry on top, but I did do that by design so they quit crawling. And then we are also growing probably a melon or something. But let's, let's look over here and see. Uh, yeah, looks like we're doing the same thing over here. Looks like these guys are growing a bunch of corn. Interesting. Put that back in there. And cover it up. I'm probably going to go ahead and spray these guys down. Um, even though I was purposely trying to make it a little dry on the top so they wouldn't want to crawl. I think it's getting a little bit too dry. And so nobody will be surprised by the bin number three here when we discover that we have grown a forest of corn. A corn forest. And well, they're not going to have anything to eat if they don't eat the corn. So I'm going to cover that up. So they're not eating it as fast as what the red wigglers would do. It's, it's just the nature of how the African night crawlers are. They do prefer the, the carbon sources to the nitrogen source, a.k.a. the corn. So that's just the way the worm turns. But I'm going to spray them down here with my little handheld sprayer. I'm going to go get that. Okay. So here we go. We just have the one liter Dollar General hand pump sprayer. Just that's all the more there is to it. No batteries required. And that's all there is to it, really. I know this isn't super interesting, but. So the African night crawlers are making some progress after about two weeks on the corn, but they are certainly not eating it anywhere near as fast as the red wigglers did when I put that in there. I think we had made much more progress in, I don't know if it's been three weeks, I'll have to go back and look. I think the corn is probably dissolving itself faster than the worms are working on it, if, if I'm being honest about the whole thing but you can already see that we're getting some good castings out of just the paper. So that's the African night crawlers, at least in my experience, is that I have much, much better luck of them going through paper and leaves, etc., than I do of them eating through my old groceries. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.